welcome to another great episode of Grill Seekers. You know, we're food, fun, and culture for all things New England. And part of the culture of living in New England is being a passionate Bruins fan. And today, one lucky fan finds himself, his friends, and his family grilling it up with number 22, Sean Thornton. It's Grill Seekers. It's always food. It's always lots of fun. And the fun starts now. Welcome to Grill Seekers. Each week on Grill Seekers, we'll fire up the food, the fun, and we'll seek out the culture. It's Grill Seekers. If you've got flame, we'll travel. We're at the Hard Rock Cafe with passionate Bruins fans. They bleed black and gold. Let's check it out. First, first into flame. Burst into flame. Burst into flame. Burst into flame. Burst into flame. Me now is Rick Greenwood, who's a huge Bruins fan. Yeah. Been a Bruins fan uh, since I was 12 years old, basically. One of the Ice Girls, Nicole. Hi, how are you? How are we doing? Good. Good. Ricky, who actually is a uh, BC student. Yes, I am. We're here with Cassidy. Are we having fun? So much fun. I'm really excited. I have Katie. We're getting ready for the Bruins? Yep. How long have you been a Bruins fan? Uh, since I started playing hockey about four years ago. You play hockey? What position? Center. Nice. Hockey is certainly a team sport, and there's no better team in New England than the Bruins. To make great friends, there's a camaraderie, there's a connection. I always wonder, I want to get to the mindset, the mentality of a mascot. What are you thinking tonight? Bruins are going to come out, they're going to hit the boards, they're going to check, maybe a power play, maybe score a few goals. How's that? Pretty good? Pretty excited? Burst into flame. Burst into flame. Now, Nicole, tell us about your passion and how you became part of the Bruins legacy. Grew up watching the Bruins. Sure. I've been a Bruins fan all my life. I became a huge hockey fan in college. We're a big hockey town. And I thought, you know, when I moved home, what better way than to get involved with a great sports team, lots of fun girls. I grew up figure skating with all of them. Nice. So I already knew them, and I figured, what the heck, I have nothing to lose. Try it out, and here I am. <laughs> so what made you decide to, you know, pick up a stick and play some hockey? Well, get tired of those boys? My Nana um, gave me figure skating lessons, but I was going too fast. So my parents signed me up for hockey. The Bruins Foundation is a 501c3. Um, we're a nonprofit. 501c3. Nonprofit, <laughs> in other words. <laughs> Now, I understand you're also quite the uh, quite the foodie. Well, I enjoy grilling. Uh, I have a nice big uh, DCS uh, outdoor kitchen uh, with a 75,000 BT grill in the backyard. We raise money, essentially, for children in the New England area, um, and all of our fundraising goes towards grants that different organizations throughout the New England area can apply for through us. Uh, what's your world-famous recipe? I would say it's a lamb sirloin with uh, some dark brown mustard on it, and we uh, the, the coup de grace is that we actually roll it in crushed pistachio nuts before we uh, throw it on the rotisserie. When we first did our interviews for the Bruins, I they asked me what my one thing I couldn't live without was, and I said cheese, and then proceeded to name every cheese I could come up with within the minute. Why do you love cheese? Um, I don't really know. It's just one of my favorite foods. It could be its own food group in my life. It should be its own food group. Right now we're doing the Beardathon, so that's during playoffs. <laughs> Got a little one growing here, but uh, mine looks better. <laughs> yes, um, so much better. So. Now what is it with, with guys and growing? It's just a man thing. You know, there's no question. It's, it's meat, it's, you know, large quantities, usually cooking for groups. Name a cheese company that is synonymous with Vermont. Cabot. <laughs> Why even ask? Do we have cable? Do you pick up all the games? Are you wearing underwear? <laughs> you pull up to a drive-thru and you, you clearly, I would like... Cheeseburger? Cheeseburger. <laughs> Can you give us a... Scores! Oh, come on! We need more than that! He shoots! Doing a full rack of ribs. The ribs at uh, the Hard Rock are really good. Meat nice. falls off the bone. Nice. You know, good tank to the sauce. So, nice. Uh, worth getting. You roll out of bed in the morning. Egg and cheese. Egg and cheese. <laughs> so you got some ribs. You got some fries. 
How about a, how about a, how about a win for the Bruins? Oh yeah, gotta have it. Black and gold, baby, black and gold. Absolutely. With the old alumni, the new players come in. You do different events. Yeah. Um, the director of development for our foundation is actually Bob Sweeney. Swoop. Bob Sweeney? Absolutely. Sean Thornton? No problem. Hey, we're growing it up big time. Celebrating the passion of the black and gold because we're grill seekers. We do a lot of stuff with alumni. We get really involved. Cam Neely's also involved in a lot of stuff. Perfect. His foundation. It's the Bruins Foundation. More grill seekers coming up. <laughs> grill Seekers is brought to you by Roach Brothers. Roach Brothers, your family deserves the best. Stop by any Roach Brothers for all your summertime grilling needs. Friendly service, great food. Roachbrothers.com. Roach Brothers, your family deserves the best. Howdy, partners. For the largest selection of gas and diesel motorhomes in New England, it's USRV. Stop by and take advantage of USRV's summer sale. Up to 40% off new motorhomes. My name is Marty, and I still make better deals. This dressing is delicious. It's new naturally delicious. It's all natural and rich in omega-3. So it's a healthier choice. Pour on the dressing. It's naturally delicious.